The playproof case for iPhone 7 fits so well that it feels like it's part of your phone. If Apple made an iPhone 7C, this is what it would feel like. And because of their custom formulated polymer and honeycomb interior design, even though it's incredibly thin and light, it's still on par with other large rugged cases in terms of drop protection. This is the playproof case for iPhone 7. Evolutive Labs was kind enough to send me these two cases along with the Rhino Shield Impact Screen Protector for review. And in this review, we'll cover the aspects of this case that make it one of my top picks for an iPhone 7 case. Evolutive Labs is quick to point out that the playproof isn't made from TPU commonly found in other cases. It's made from their own custom blend of polymers to help to better spread the shock from impact. Also, the honeycomb inner lining provides lots of little air pockets that act as airbags for your iPhone. The case only adds a couple of millimeters to your phone and feels really great in your hand. It has a slightly raised edge that will help protect your screen from face first drops. The lightning cutout is generously sized and the buttons are okay but a little harder to press than I'd like. The mute switch is also more difficult to access than I'd prefer but it's not a deal breaker. The cases have a matte finish that some will find too slippery. I personally don't mind it because it helps the phone slide in and out of your pocket easily. It comes in either a solid color for $25 or a custom print for $30. There are many custom prints for all styles and tastes. I chose these two retro patterns that feature the Rhino Shield logo. And speaking of Rhino Shield, if you're not familiar with the Rhino Shield Impact Screen Protector, then pause this video and click the eye to see Lou over at Unbox Therapy repeatedly hit an iPhone that's protected with one of these screen protectors with a hammer. It's pretty amazing. The screen protector is plastic, which means it'll scratch easier than your iPhone screen alone, and it'll also pick up fingerprints more than some will like. But the main purpose of a screen protector is to keep your phone screen from shattering, and this one does that better than anything else out there. It's the main reason I was able to fearlessly drop my phone to concrete repeatedly for this review. With this amount of protection and such a slim package, paired with an almost shatterproof screen protector, you'd think this is the perfect case combo. However, there's one design flaw that will be a deal breaker for some. The hard shell and soft inner lining will separate over time. This is aggravated more so if you remove the case on a somewhat frequent basis. It doesn't appear to affect how the case protects your phone, but it will make the case difficult to reinstall. Evolutive Labs is quick to point out that installing your phone improperly will damage the case more quickly. But even if you follow the install instructions perfectly, like I have, you're still going to experience separation of the materials eventually. If you're familiar with the original playproof case, then you'll be glad to know that the material has been improved on this generation. I've been using this case for several months now to see if the issue has been resolved, and although it's been greatly improved, the issue does still persist. The cases come with a lifetime warranty though, and Evolutive Labs said they would replace any cases that experience separation. And if you're like most people and don't switch cases frequently, you most likely never have this problem. The Playproof case really isn't a league of its own. It's one of the thinnest cases you can buy, and yet protects as well as a bulky rugged case, especially when paired with the Rhino Shield Impact Screen Protector. I tested this case with my iPhone 7, but because the dimensions of the iPhone 8 barely changed, it's compatible with that phone as well. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, feel free to leave those in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video review, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And as always, thanks for watching.